Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the coin change problem. Uh, the coin change problem actually is, let's say we have been given some coins of the denomination 1, 2 and 3. And we have to generate a total of 5. So we have to find out what are the total number of ways in which 5 can be generated with these coins. We will consider that uh, we have the infinite number of the supplies of these coins and we have to find out what are the total number of ways by which this 5 can be generated. So uh, randomly if we select some of the solutions, so if we take 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, it means we are taking 5 coins of one denomination, 5 can be generated. Another way may be that we take three coins of one denomination and one coin of two denomination then also it can be generated. If we take two coins of two denomination and one coin of one denomination then also five can be generated. If we take one coin of two denomination and one coin of three denomination then also five can be generated. Another solution could be you take two coins of one denomination and one coin of three denomination then also five can be generated. So these are the total number, these are the five different ways by which five can be generated with the given coins. So we actually have to find what are the total number of ways by which this five can be generated from the given denomination and we are considering that we have the infinite number of supplies of these coins. Okay, so for finding out the dynamic programming solution, we will have to use the uh, memoization table. So let's take a memoization table. And since this is the 2D uh, dynamic programming solution, so we will be taking the uh, table of two dimensional. Okay. In this two-dimensional table, let us say on the row side, we are representing the coins. So we have a coin of denomination 1, 2 and 3. So let us just number the coins. We, we can consider that the coins are in an array. Okay. And this is the first coin, this is the second coin and this is the third coin. So these are the indexes. So similarly, the indexes have been mentioned here. Incidentally, in the problem that we have taken, the index is same as the denomination. But this may not be the same every time. Okay, for the next example, it may so happen that we are taking 5, 10 and 20. So 1, 2, 3 are the index of coins array. And similarly, on the column side, we are taking what change actually I have to make. So if I have to make one change or two change or three change or four change or five change. So five is the change that we have to generate. But we, since we will be going step by step, that's why I have written first one, two, three, four, five. These are the changes that we need to generate. The maximum we have to generate is five. Now we will be taking one row and one column from our side. In the in the earlier examples also, we have taken uh, this extra row and extra column and this extra row and extra column is required for the reference values for computation of the next uh, items in the table. So in this table, the cell entry will be telling us how many ways are there by which the change can be generated. Now suppose I have a coin of zero denomination. So do you agree with that if I have a coin of zero denomination then zero can be generated in one way. But in any case I cannot generate one denomination. So this will be zero. I cannot generate two. I cannot generate three. I cannot generate four and I cannot generate five. Okay. If I have a, if I have a coin of one denomination then chain zero can be generated by not selecting this coin. So there is one way by which 0 can be generated. Similarly, if I have the coin of 0, 1 and 2, then 
zero can be generated in one way. If I have a coin of zero, one, two, and three, zero can be generated in one way by not selecting any coin, or you can say that by selecting a zero coin, you can generate a zero. So these are the initial values in the table that we have set, and now we need to find out all these values. So just try to find out if I have a coin of one denomination only. Okay, I will be finding out this entry. So finding out this entry, just consider that I have a coin of one denomination only. So if I have a coin of one denomination only, and I have to generate this one, so there is one way I can generate this one change by selecting this one, and two can be generated by selecting two coins. But the number of ways will be only one. Similarly, three will be generated by selecting three coins of one, but the number of ways will be one only. Similarly, this can be generated in one way, and this can also be generated in one way. What about this entry? This entry is telling you that I have the coins of denomination one and two both, and I have to generate this one. So obviously, if I have a coin of one and two both, and I have to generate this one. So I will be selecting one only. I will not be selecting two. Okay. Now for generating this two, it is an interesting one to find out. Since I have to generate this two denomination uh, or two change with the help of coin one and two, so two has already uh, for generating two with the help of one. I have one way to generate two. Now, since I have a coin of two denomination also, and two has to be generated, in that case we can say that two is selected, and two can be generated. Only two is selected, and two can be generated. So earlier we had one way, we have another way also. So total number of ways now has been two. So how we will find out this entry if we have to make a formula for finding out this entry? Let's say. This is referring to J, and here the index is referring to I. I have referred to the coin coins array at ith index, and this J is greater than or equal to coins of I. So in this case, it is equal to the coins I because coin two is telling us two denomination. J is equal to Two denomination. It means that if j is greater than or equal to coin i, then may be a possibility that there is a there is another way. To find out the another way, what we will do? We already had a way of generating this change in the t i minus one j row. So t i th row is this one. In the same column, if you refer to this one, I already have one way. So I have referred to that way, and then a new way can be there by referring to the same row and J minus coins i. What is what does this mean? Coins J minus coins i. J is two. Coins i is also two, so we are referring to T i zero entry. T i zero entry. So T i zero means T two zero. T two zero means this entry one. So there is one way, when one another way. So one was the this uh, way for T i minus one j. This is this entry, and another way is, has also been found at T two zero. So we will be writing two here. Okay, so we'll be writing two here in this cell. So this entry is what? This entry is T I J entry. Similarly, if I have to find this entry, J has changed to three. Rest of the things remain same. So this J is going to change. This is three minus two. So I am referring to the entry T two one. Okay, now T two one entry is one. T two entry is one. So this uh, this is one and this is one. So there are two ways by which it can be generated. Now let's say I'm, I'm referring to this four. Okay. Now if four has to be generated, 
in the formula this value will remain to 1 and here the j changes to 4 so this is t1 2 so t uh, sorry t22 uh, so t22 entry is 2 so earlier we had one way and two another way has been added so there are now three ways by which this 4 can be generated j is here you can see with the with the with the example also if 4 has to be generated i can select this 2 2 or 1 1 1 1 or 2 and 1 1 so the three ways by which 4 can be generated now if i have to find out this entry this j will change to 5 so uh, now i am finding t23 so t23 entry is 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 here similarly if i have to find this entry this j is less than i am referring to this this row this row means i i have the coin of 1 i have the coin of 2 and i have the coin of 3 also so the entries will change in this table only if I reach to the position where j is greater than or equal to coin psi. So I will be refer referring to the third coin. Third coin has a denomination 3. So when j will become 3 then only the changes will come. Otherwise all the entries of above row will be copied here. So j is 1 copied here. j is 2 copied here. This entry has been copied here. Now I have to find this entry. How can this entry be found? Here j is 3. So t i minus 1 j plus t i j minus coins i. Here i is 3. So t 2 j. So t 2 3 plus t i is 3 j is 3 minus coins 3 means coins i means coins 3 coins 3 has a denomination 3 so t30 i am referring to t30 so t23 entry is 2 t30 entry is 1 so 2 plus 1 there are three ways by which this 3 can be generated now what about this i have to generate 4 for generating 4 you will be making change in j only so this is j the 3 now it is 4 so i am referring to t31 now so t31 is 1 so this entry will be 3 fine now for this entry this entry will be t3 2 Sorry, for this entry, let's say, let's say we have to find this entry. Let us find out this entry again. So this is T3, 4 entry. So finding out T3, 4 entry, I am first writing here as T i minus 1 j. So T2, 4 plus 2, 4 means this entry, 3. and then plus t j is 4 minus coins of i that is 1 so this is t3 sorry t3 1 entry so t3 1 entry is 1 so 3 plus 1 there are 4 ways by which this change can be generated now for finding out this one this will be t2 j means 5 plus t i remains same 3 and j changes by the making change in j j minus coin psi will be 2 so t3 2 t3 2 entry is 2 so t2 5 entry is 3 and this entry is 2 so 3 plus 2 is 5 so there are total 5 ways by which this change can be generated okay 
Now find, for finding out the, uh, the algorithm for the same, it remains actually the same, whatever we have written. It is just that we, have, we should write it in the form of the algorithm. So coin change and what are, what are the things given? The coins array is given, the total number of coins are n and the denomination let's say that we have to generate is m. Fine. So we need to have uh, a table here. Let's say this table is t and the table will have a size. Total number of coins are n. So on the row side we should have n plus 1 n plus 1 rows and denomination that is to be generated is m so on the column side I should have m plus 1 let's say we are initializing all the entries of this table to 0 but that will not work we will have to make all the entries of column number 0 as 1 so for this I need to apply a loop for i equals to 0 to n do table i 0 is equals to 1 okay when i changes the row entries will be set as 1 sorry uh, the row will change and at every 0 column of this row the entry can be set as 1 now after this I have to make all the entries of this table okay I will take this one then this one then this one so I need to have uh, uh, we need to look at every entry in this matrix or every entry in this table so for looking on at the end every entry it is just like a matrix wherein I will have to take the uh, two rows uh, uh, sorry two loops and let we will have to check if J is greater than or equal to coins i then only the changes will be made and if we have to make the changes there is a formula tij is equals to ti minus 1j which was the earlier way plus the new ways can be added by ti j minus coins i In case j is not greater than or equal to coin i, then the entry which is on the above row will be copied. So tij will be equals to ti minus 1j. Fine. Once this loop, well, once this both the loops will finish, this entry is actually the answer. So I will return t nth row and mth column value. So this is the answer. Thank you.